welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. Look where we are again. No, because I've been rushing. She's like, have you not started your vlog yet? She, that's rude of me. Emily, Emily is here again as top videographer. I am on top of the training game at the moment and there was a legitimate reason for that. However, that legitimate reason has gone out the window. I entered my first BE after Cameron's lesson on Saturday, which, would you say this is the centre? Yeah, she's nodding, I think that's a yes. Yes, I entered my first BE after Cameron's training, dressage training on Saturday. I kicked my bum into entering. We entered straight out at 100 at Bovington. I was all motivated, ready to continue the training, feeling positive. And boom, last night it cancelled. <laughs> What's today? Wednesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So I was entered for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I was proud of myself for entering. However, I'm not going because it's not happening. Um, but it's all okay because the week after Bovington is Bicton. However, I've taken the brave pants back off <laughs> and I've entered the 90 at Bicton. Hey, 20 something. She's going to tell me she can't come now, isn't she? Um, I think so. Do I need to check the date? I don't know if it's a Saturday or Sunday. Glad I didn't enter the 100. I forgot no sidekick to kick me into doing it. Da, 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 da. So, Bovington was going to be on the 15th, which was Good Friday. Bicton is on the Saturday, the 23rd. She's pulling a funny face. Oh, that sounds more fun. <laughs> I think she's got a hen do in case the uh, microphone didn't pick that up. Ah, oh, it's only evening. Depends on my times. We won't rule it out. Right, I'm going to get this exercise set up. Basically, ever since camp 2018, Em and I have wanted to replicate the, the training exercise that we did with Fred on the last day of camp. And very kindly, on that last day of camp, Fred talked us through how to set it up. However, Tina. He did make it sound very simple. <laughs> Tina, yeah, we were overcomplicating it massively, weren't we? Tina forgot to insert it in the camp vlog. And then she thought, oh, let's actually strategically pretend that I intentionally didn't insert it in the camp vlog because then we can make our own vlog about A, how to set it up and B, how to ride it. And also C, oh, the drone's gone up. Doo -doo. If I can do it a bit more controlled than I did at camp. Thanks, he was a very, very, very feisty boy, even on day two, four lessons in two days, and he was still an extremely keen bean. So I'm hoping if we get it up, set up down here now, we can run through it a little bit more calmer, a little bit neater, and a little bit more accurate. Fingers crossed. I will leave you with Fred and our footage from camp of how to recreate this exercise. Dude, if you do it at home, tag us because we'd love to see you trying it. And yeah, for now, I am going to get my four jumps set up. What would you say this works on? Accuracy, rhythm. Accuracy and rhythm. Not getting in a flap and rushing. I think she's meaning that's directed purely at Tina and Banksy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. So ensuring your vibe portrays through to them. Yeah, I may have to because it'd be too narrow. I think in an ideal world, you need a 60 by 40 school. I believe this is 25 wide, maybe 30. Maybe I should stride it out. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with Fred. He's going to show you how it should be set up. Then we'll pan round and in three, two, one, it will be set up just like it. Watch this space. Right, this is an exercise that we've been dying to do since last camp. So we're now going to stride it out so we can make it ourselves at home. And what's now to make it at home? Yeah. Not at home home, not on your grass. On grass. <laughs> but how do you, which fence do you put up first? He's not giving the tricks away. What? 
That's the first one. Yeah. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah. Uh, second one. Oh, we thought we were measuring each side, didn't we? Simple one stride. Oh, so put the poles down. Yeah, that's true. I still don't think we'll make it as neat as that, do you, Em? Watch the space. Yeah, watch the space, guys. A little bit shorter on the first one. Oh, okay. They naturally they pick up a bit of pace. Okay. okay. Now, the first one quite short so that the horse is having in front of them. Right. If it's too long, the horse is lose confidence because it's far away. You know, it's hard to jump an angle off the far distance. Yeah. Get a bit closer, it's like a bit more softer, spiritually. So the first one always a bit shorter. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Just, well, you just make yeah. it look okay. <laughs> we were about to measure that on that. <laughs> I think it's like 10 steps between that. Yeah, and then like six or something this side. Six between the... We'll get and check them. <laughs> yeah, six. <laughs> six and ten, just so we know. So we aren't doing dodgy angles at home. Eleven? Yeah. Maybe like six and twelve. Yeah. Even numbers, we like even numbers. Right, anyway, like mission on soon. To get me help, all I'm asking for is just some space and some time, then I'll be alright. I've been having thoughts in my mind, I can't get up. Tell me things I can't say myself from you and nobody else. Everything is out of my sight. This is also new to me. I can do it all in your way. To breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in now, I see What I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself Talking of thirsty work, let me tell you a little bit more about this revolutionary new product, Air Up. Okay guys, let me tell you a little bit more about this fabulous new water bottle that I have been sent by the team at Air Up to test out. Now they have designed a really clever way of encouraging you to stay hydrated and to get more water into your system without feeling like you are just drinking plain old boring tap water. Now they've designed these clever little pods, which you can see here, that pop on and off the top of their drinks bottles that flavour the water. And when I say flavour, that's because they don't actually flavour the water. The water that's inside this bottle is 
purely, well this one's not actually, it's spring water, not tap water, but you can put any type of water in this bottle and the pods will then trick your brain into thinking that it is flavoured purely by stimulating your senses. Clever, huh? I've currently had sparkling water in this one today purely because I put a cola pod on and I thought it would be good to like really trick my brain by having A, the cola scent and B, the slight sparkles to give it a try. I'm excited to also try the sparkling water with the orangeade, which is another flavour that I went for. And I've also got the elderflower pods. Now there's so many different flavours you can choose from. The starter kits that are available also do include pods. This one I believe comes with orange, passion fruit and lime alongside the snazzy drinks bottle which can be sealed tight with the lid. It's a 650ml bottle so you are getting a good amount of liquid in you even on one fill up. It also means that the pods will be used for approximately 10 fills. I think they say five litres of water per pod to keep it at its optimum flavour or scent, should I say. This is what the watermelon pods look like and these pods are completely recyclable too. So they're made from recycled plastics. They can also then be put in your recycling and not in the bin once they are finished. I believe the colour fades. Obviously I've only used this one once so far, so it's looking nice and fresh and smelling delightful. I will admit I'm well and truly influenced. Absolutely love it. Will definitely be keeping this to hand this summer and staying hydrated with lots of fab, fun and funky flavours. If you want to grab one for yourself, code TINA10 gets you 10% off and I will pop the website in the description box below. Do head over to the Air Up website. Check out all the funky different colour bottles and the fabulous flavour pods. Right, let's go and find a tap to fill this back up with. Over and out for now, guys. Enjoy the video and do check out the Air Up website. Discount code TINA10 for 10% off. Thanks. Your mum's doing a bit of different kind of steering today. <laughs> yeah. You know how you reverse a trailer? You go left to go right. We're doing that today. That would probably be quite good coordination for you. Yeah. Well, I am actually... Um, you say nine. Rather than correcting it, I'm trying to find a photo. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, there's loads there. Oh. Select. Sending me a quick thumbnail. Oh, a photo for a thumbnail. This is um, good, entertaining content. This is talent. This is here, look. Just like that. Sorted. Oh, it's in downloading. Does that mean they're gone in the cloud? Yeah. Should I just leave it on the floor next to you? I did note when I watched back what Fred made that he had ground lines underneath. But then it's not like I've made them big, is it? Or do you think that might help? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out, it? won't we? Yeah. <laughs> Chuck you in the deep end first. I do think Fred had longer poles. Here? Yeah. To watch my dog because she won't be aware. <laughs> I might get you the lead, Nala. They look hard to jump on an angle, don't you think? So you've got to start with your circles. Then you do a serpentine, and then you jump down through the middle. Why do I look at his neck all the time? <laughs> <laughs> what did the camera say? It's not going to fall off, Tina. No. <laughs> I said you were admiring your new mane. I haven't seen any joggy. Jog, jog. Haven't seen any joggies. Haven't seen any joggy, jog, jog. I thought I only had to ride that in my dresser saddle. No? You should apply it to your jumping too. You've got to think, you need to design a warm up that you can do all the time, and he knows it like the back of his hand, like you do. So, whether that's for dressage or for jumping.
Yeah, it's not bad. I tell you what, it's harder with short stirrups. Yeah, because you can't, yeah. You can't sit as good into it. Stop looking down. Stop your toes pointing down. Lengthen your heel. Secret, secret. Flat Stop foot. It's so much to think about at once. <laughs> Doggy drop and walk. Nice. So be Cameron. What's the first thing in your transition up? Weight and more secure contact to keep the weight. Hey. She's testing me, Banks. I know. <laughs> I was kind of thinking, am I do I can I remember the answer? <laughs> But what's his first, what legs go first into an uphill transition? Behind. Yes. And the last thing to stop. Correct. Nice. I don't feel like I can even jump that other angle from here. Maybe I can. How the hell am I going to make that turn? You're turning right, you know that, yeah? You jump it straight and you oh, do your yeah, circles. No, <laughs> no, I was just going to pop a couple to warm up and then I was like... Which way? Oh, she's jumping here now. I thought he was going for a flyer then. <laughs> he was or you was or? <laughs> oh, I've got to get him deeper to these, haven't I? So that I have more room afterwards. Yeah. What's that? Shocking downward transition? Never. <laughs> Even Banks' <laughs> face doesn't look that impressed. Week. I think this is going to be really hard to jump at an angle. You're not worrying about an angle for a minute. Oh no, I'm jumping it circle, jump it circle, jump it circle. Yeah, Correct. Okay. Right. Still feels quite narrow. <laughs> to be fair, what I think you just jumped, actually, I don't think it is that much shorter than what it was at Pontesville. Okay. Right, rain. Jump, left rain, jump. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I can't. <laughs> Get my head around it. Where's I feel Fred like you need scout? a ticking we'll thing. Him. Come on, Emily, be Fred. Be Come Fred. On, Cameron in the warm up. Crikey, I wish I could be. I feel like I can hear like a little ticking as your brain's trying to. Oh no. Oh, that, I didn't even touch that. <laughs> Apparently we can carry on just like it. Whee! <laughs> right, well I get the gist of what I need to do. Yeah, well done for finishing and picking up canter and actually cantering him. You can do it both ways. The only thing I'd say is when you land, don't be in a hurry to turn. Yeah. Go for a little bit straighter. That's better. Don't be in a rush to get to the jump. Nala, up here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pulling up. Very good. Good boy. Oh, 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 oh. Correct it. I clapped the foot on the line there, which is helpful. 
You were like, we're done! <laughs> Very good. Well, you know where you're going now. I do. Let's whack them up. <laughs> Let's whack them up. You turn very quickly. I there, did I? No. Where's your fence? Apparently it's not just if he goes last at camp, he still gets whizzed up. Uh, it's not just what? <laughs> not just when he goes last at camp, he still gets a bit whizzed up. Don't lose your balance when he goes disunited. You're perching to lean forward. Just keep riding the canter. Let him sort his legs out. How did that feel? A bit better. Yeah. Once you told me to ride the counter. Yeah. It's just when he goes disunited, you almost you like lean forward, yeah, which is okay. yeah, which you're then he's going, oh on my four, oh I'm disunited, and it's yeah. I go, oh it's easier to stop and start again rather than ride through it. Yeah. What do you think? One more before doing it as a serpentine? Yeah. Or is there any way that's better or worse? I still think you're, I think it's well, coming up this, this way, way. Yeah. and I just think you need to just stay ever so slightly straighter for longer. Okay, yeah, we, we're motorbiking on landing, aren't we? Yeah. Because I'm thinking, oh my god, I've got to turn! When you need to and actually, up on that, yeah, yeah, you need to relax for like, probably two strides I'd say, and then think about your turn, but also have your shoulders and body ready, but uh -uh. yeah, so. that's my top tips. I don't know. <laughs>
Do you know what I mean? These yeah, I totally ones, know. Jump that one. So where the jump wings are, the closer ones is together is where you loop. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I don't know how I didn't know that. That's really bad. <laughs> I know, when you did that, I thought, oh, that is tasking. Yeah, that, right, so you've got no excuse not to do it now. <laughs> I should have said, that makes a little bit more sense. Let's try. Not that makes much more sense. <laughs> Red's going to laugh at us for trying to do it wrong. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Gonna smash it this time, Banks. Come on. Stay close. He cons actually did quite well that time with little guidance from me. Yeah. Didn't he? He did do very well. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I know what I'm doing, she can get off. <laughs> And you actually did a nice transition down at the end. Yay! <laughs> Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. Out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Nah, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick that switch Kill the lights Stop thinking you won't fit one in Are you go. Hold on, I'm gonna walk it Yeah, you're fine. That was one stride. Oh, she's going. It's always when Fred says to me, is it coming? You're like, what? Effortless. <laughs> We're like, it won't fit one in there. He's like, we can one. You literally jumped. You came around that corner and then went and go. <laughs> Meant it. And he was like, okay, I know the job. Good boy. He's like, this is my party piece. I get this one right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aww. clever pony. I will right, we'll jump it one more just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Okay. We'll see how straight you stay. Yeah. I was celebrating before it even got over the third jump. <laughs> Better term. Oh, his little face. And then we crash you. I did think this. <laughs> correct your canter. Oh, correct your canter. I've got a good instructor here today, guys. <laughs> a nice downward transition when I'm ready, Banksy, not you. Hey. 
Yay. Beautiful. Look how square that is. that well oh i built it well yeah, yeah. Not that. <laughs> i was in the royal we <laughs> i did go and check it but yeah. i didn't it was already set up pretty well so the bit we need to emphasize when riding in a straight line is make the first one seven strides yeah so that it's inviting for them to if they find the first one hard they might not because they might the... back off the first one mightn't yeah. they because they're not understand the question yeah because they're looking at that like you we've got this as a horse's point of view right now and where do you think daunting, yeah where do you think you can put your legs yeah we've only got two of them you've got four <laughs> good boy there i think it's safe to say somebody if you can see all this sweat worked very very hard didn't they or was very, very enthusiastic as ever. Honey boy -o. hmm? Oh, look, the drone's coming down. Let's see. Should we see how close we can get to it as you land? He's so good with it, isn't he? For what he can be like with other things. You're so good, Benson. Oh, <laughs> bless him. Yeah, oh, no, now it's on the floor. It's a bit scary, Auntie Emily. Oh, look at that sweaty face. Right, so let's walk you round, cool you off. Thanks. That was definitely a workout and a half for both of us. I am sweaty too, but it worked well, I think. It did work very well. Once I actually sat up and didn't, yeah, didn't cut the corners. You like motorbiking on the left rein, don't you, mate? And mummy's not the best at sitting up and using her inside leg on the left rein, so neither of us help each other in that aspect but it's definitely a very good exercise for training so if you do give it a go guys tag us tag fred tell him that um we showed you which one it was maybe we'll hashtag it something like fred's camp special and then we can see you all giving it a go fred's camp special could have a better ring to it if anybody can think of a better hey Scala special, there we go. Em's made a hashtag. If you do give it a go, hashtag Scala special and give us a uh, tag as well so that we can see you all giving it a go. I will put in the description below what the strides were. Yeah, somebody did it and tagged us on Instagram. Shout out to you, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. But we're trotting poles, just poles on the ground. And it's still a good exercise to do that with, focusing on your rhythm, your turning, your accuracy, a little bit of everything really. Ooh. But definitely a good workout. As you can see, he's absolutely cream cracker too. I'm actually going away in a couple of days and my special boy is being left in somebody's or a few people's capable hands. I don't know if I'm, uh, watch this space. <laughs> I said I don't know if Em's doing anything with him or not, but watch this space. Depends how busy her diary is. Addy comes back and work. Ah, she does. On Saturday? Sunday. Although I'm tempted to give her another week. Yeah. 
give her now the time and then... Exactly. <laughs> I don't know whether... I nearly said focus. Um, and then it went into like buckle on through the season then. I don't know why buckle on came either. Oh, so you might go jumpy jumpies. Mm -hmm. you never know. You might go and do an elementary test, Em said. <laughs> you said it, not me. I never suggested that. <laughs> now it's like we might just go for a beach gallop. <laughs> Right, anyways, yes, this shall be uploading whilst I am abroad. A little bit excited. Snow. Yeah, a little bit excited because the forecast looks epic. I'll, um, you'll have seen from Instagram prior to <laughs> this going live whether the forecast was correct or not oh, and whether we have a good time. I love it when that happens. <laughs> it generally happens to me with a fiver, not a 20 pound note. <laughs> Oosh. Thanks, Banks. Yeah. Just push me over. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this little training exercise with us. Thanks for coming and being top drone woman again. Everybody's loving Em's drone footage. Oh, everybody always asks what it is. Tell us. It's a Maverick Air 2S. Oh, kisses, Banks. 2S. Yeah. Oh, steady, mate. <laughs> Do you have to have a license and an operator ID to be able to fly it? But that's relatively. Not, yeah. I'm not going to say simple to get, but straightforward yeah, if like you do the training. Pounds, yeah. yeah, and it's 40 base question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nala? Sorry, Nala, just literally threw you on the ground. Uh, yeah, 40 question quiz that you've got to do, which when I first went to do it, I was like, I can't answer any of that. Actually, if you just use your brain and a bit of common sense and you can have things open at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just making you sure you've done the re research yeah. of the awareness of all the rules for flying it. Like, you have to agree that I can fly it over the top of you. Oh, okay. Oh, don't want yeah. to land on my pony's back. <laughs> right, anyway, yapping as per for England. Um, over and out. A little bit gutted that Em might not be able to come to Bicton, but, you know. Of course the camera battery died, and I have no idea where that stopped at, but I was saying a little bit gutted that Em's not coming to Bicton now, because she's on a hen night, but, yeah, she's a bit confused by my... Wow, well, it got confusing, didn't it? Yeah, because I thought you were doing... Bovington and Port Elliot. Elliot. I was like, ideal, the hendy's in the middle, that's fine. <laughs> I did look at events. Oh. No, we're in Bicton now. Starting where we finished last year. Mm. Mwah. Right. Let's get on. Thank you very much. No problem. Like, comment and subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you all when I'm back from Hollybobs. Don't give Addy a week off. I want her to come on that thing on the Sunday. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Throw a bin at the deep end. Watch this space to see if that happens. Right. Over an hour. <laughs> Bye. I'll go if you ride Sprite. I don't want... Oh, if I ride Sprite? Yeah. Bye. I don't you don't him. <laughs> you don't trust him to teach her bad manners? No, he'll just be way more feisty. What, I'm sorry he won't be? Yeah, true. <laughs> did you, excuse me, who was more feisty on the beach the other day? I'll sprite, yeah. <laughs> yeah very, true, very true. Right, we digress. Bye, guys. <laughs> Just keep on doing what you do, keep on doing what you do.